some of the most useless ministers this country had had were in the Uhuru government. And even when they messed so much, I kept wondering and asking, why was this so difficult for Uhuru to remove those people? And even when finally he had the guts to remove one or two, he still gave them other jobs. But now, compared to what we have now, <laughs> The whole government is a eh? government of geniuses. Eh. This now is the president has refused to appoint people. He's he's bringing the worst you can collect from any corner of the country. This is common knowledge. Everybody knows it. The president seems to be competing with common sense and what is right. It is one thing to help your people, even if they are having cases. You can maneuver and have them because the president has those powers. You can have them released officially and unofficially. But to release them and then bring them on top of things in government to get people people of very questionable qualifications, obviously questionable, of dubious records, somebody by his own admission during voting, he had 35 cases, people with rape cases, murder cases, 